Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I found an article on Bloomberg.com that you guys are gonna absolutely love. Now, if you wanna read more about this article, go ahead and look at my description. I will have a link below. Now, the article starts with, can we escape a crash? The housing market is saying yes. Now, this is gonna be a great read. If anybody is in the market to buy a house or sell a house, you're really going to want to pay attention to this article. Now check this out. Rising mortgage rates crushed affordability and led to softening demand, but much needed cost relief is allowing builders to sweeten a deal for buyers without destabilizing the broader economy. From, from stagnation, sta I'm sorry, from stagflation to cost relief in six months, that's the new picture of the housing market that has emerged in just a few weeks. And to the extent that housing has been a micro, microcosm for the pandemic era economy, the cool down will present new challenges and opportunities over the next six months, both for sellers and buyers. It should also provide some broader reassurance. It's looking possible that we can unwind some of the explosion in the housing affordability without crashing the market. When stagflation was the leading dynamic back dynamic back in in, the, in March, the housing market story was relentless cost inflation and inability for supply chains to catch up to demand is bad, but people still really want to own homes and low mortgage rates are helping keep demand strong. Today's story has changed. Supply chains are finally catching up to the demand in large part because higher mortgage interest rates are making buyers more skittish and damping sales. At the same time, home builders are now in a position to use some of the cushion from record high profit margins to, all, to offer incentive to buyers, improving the affordability picture for potential homeowners. Because lower demand is leading to supply chains, chain relief, home builders are in a position to push back to on cost increase from suppliers, helping them offset some of the incentives being offered to the buyers. And to the extent slowing cost and slowing cost inflation in the housing market is a bellwether for inflation in the broader economy, there is a prospect of the Federal Reserve becoming more relaxed. That will allow mortgage rates to fall back uh, somewhat, helping even more with affordability and getting housing market back to something more like normal growth. The first signs that relentless cost inflation was shifting was a drop in the single family housing starts over the past two months. Between April and June, single family starts fell by 16%, and now they're the lowest level they have been in two years. That's not to say a lot though. Remember, we, the economy shut down, and uh, the last two years are have been a crazy, crazy um, time. Basically, they're saying right here in 2022, so this was the big drop from COVID and then it shot back up. Yeah, it's crazy. So now there's basically a rebalancing. Industrial commentary suggests that downtrend will continue in the short term. It is er in its earnings call on Tuesday, the four star group, a residential lot development company said it believes builders are going to try to write to try to right size their inventory on project by project basis. So basically construction is slowing down and they're gonna be smarter about where they build and how they build and you know how much it's, they're gonna charge for homes. That's you know one of the biggest issues here. For industry that is dealing with rampant cost of inflation due to supply constraints, reduction in demand for from home builders is at its quickest way to bring the market back into balance. Lumber has been well public, a publicized source of higher costs. The lumber features have fallen in price by almost 60% since early March, which will provide builders with some relief for the next couple of quarters. This is great news for building builders, right? They're able to get the cost a little bit lower since March at least. But lumber, lumber isn't just a start. The, in their June home builder survey, Rick Palacios, let me see, what did he say? He said, that in the metro areas, we're, uh, we're starting to see a broad-based cost relief on the materials side while anticipating relief on the labor side. 
So this is good news for uh, home builders. So to finish out the article, check this out. The housing affordability crisis of the last couple of years has been a function of three factors. Extreme cost pressures that home builders can't, had to absorb, high, high record home building profit margins that were a function of high demand and low supply, and more recently, the surge in mortgage rates engineer, engineered by the Federal Reserve. There is new... There is now room for all those to adjust somewhat in the coming months in a healthy way. The response in some metro areas will be more balanced than others, but ultimately we're heading towards the outcome of a Federal Reserve wants, a housing market supply chain with a little, mo with a little more slack than it has had and without any kind of inflation that has destabilized the broader economy. So let's hope for the best guys. I still think, you know, in the next year, two, three years, we're gonna definitely see housing prices come down. So if you have a good job, if you have a W-2 job right now, is the time to save as much as possible. If you wanna get into a house, remember, real estate is the safe probably to me as in my own personal opinion is probably the safest uh, investment you can have it's how you pass down family wealth and it's a great way to build wealth in general so guys thank you guys so much for watching now if you guys like these videos don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video